Greetings friends and welcome back to Personal Wine. Today's tutorial we're going to be talking about working with images in our custom label designs. And first and foremost, I want to take you back to our Browse and Select template page. So I wanted to show you how to work with uploading a design of your own if you have your own custom background already prepared. There's just a few parameters that we want you to remember that'll make it much easier for you to use our label design software. And let's just jump in there. If you click on Upload a Design, and you're going to get prompted by a JavaScript pop-up that says, uh, please click on the background. What that's referring to here is this background button. And when we click on it, we're going to be prompted to our hard drive. And I am going to show you really quickly with a actually a graphical demonstration of uh, the different rules that we uh, need to apply when we're working with our own custom art. And just really quickly, here we go. Let me take this out. Okay. So when you're going to work with your own custom backgrounds, we recommend, whether it's a photograph or just, a, for instance, some kind of a decorative background, that you save your artwork as a JPEG, that it is created a 4x4 inches square at 300 ppi, which is also known as DPI, and that is basically also known as 1200 by 1200 pixels square. And we recommend, uh, for those of you that are uh, really adept at uh, design, that you stay in the sRGB color space. Um, that's highly recommended, mostly because uh, when we deal with uh, printing your artwork, sRGB offers us a relatively limited color space. Therefore, what you see when you lay out your artwork in our label designer um, on the web in the sRGB color space is basically what you're going to get in the print. Our printer is very, very accurate. It is based on a... Uh, raster image processor or RIP technology and uh, we will come out matching your colors almost every time if you stay in this sRGB color space. If you uh, go to Profoto or Adobe RGB there are chances that the colors will slide out of spectrum a bit so just want to recommend that you stay there. I uh, also want to talk about the bleed really quickly in case that is a concern for you. Um, we don't really have an issue with artwork bleeding over. Our printer is going to cut to that 4x4 specifically um, if, so, therefore, if you have a border that's really close, you don't have to worry about any drift, uh, horizontal or vertical drift in your artwork. Um, basically, um, you can go ahead and design right out to the edge, um, and you do not have to over bleed your artwork uh, to compensate in any way. Just remember, as long as you stay within that 4x4 or that 1200 by 1200 pixel square, you should be just fine. And those are the parameters for your own custom artwork if you want to use it as a background or backdrop in your own custom label template. I'm going to show you really quickly that um, here's an example of just a custom background where I used, uh, this is just basically color based. It's 1200 by 1200 pixels or 4 by 4 inches at 300 ppi or 72 ppi really when you're working with the web. This is going to work really nicely. The artwork goes right out to the edges. This is really just a kind of an unbleached paper look that if I wanted to use as a background I can start inserting my text right now. I also wanted to talk to you about working with your own images in, in regards to photographs. There can be a squeezing effect that can happen. And I'm going to show you that really quickly to add an image to a label it's kind of best to come in here instead of taking your photograph and using it as a background and getting that squeezing problem you can actually just come in here and drop in an image. Here's this happy couple and our software will place your image up here in the top left corner. You can either leave it there or just move it here to the center, roughly the center, and then go ahead and go to our resize command and hit your plus, just left click and hold down the plus key and scale your image. And in actuality, I'm going to go ahead and make this about as big as I can make it. There we go. So now it's kind of filling up at least it is horizontally filling up this background and I can then kind of remember also to just lift it a hair up so that you don't have the same amount of distance on top and bottom that is just a kind of a a little accident of how we perceive when we're looking at artwork it's good to just lift up a little more so where you have a little more real estate down here at the bottom than the top but we've got this photograph of this happy couple here and now we can drop in some text and say congratulations and then I'll drop in some more text Carrie and Matthew 
And this is just, of course, for example, I'm not going to get too crazy or fancy with it, but uh, I'll go ahead and, what the heck, let's, uh, let's make this a little bit more of a formal looking font, or you know what, we can really have some fun. Let's go ahead and do something like use Pristina, which is even more decorative. It's a script font that is pretty fun, and we'll resize it. I'm just roughly centering it with my eye. And I'll use the centering controls here in just a minute. And that looks kind of off. Let's go ahead and see. We got the one at the bottom there pretty well in place. That looks pretty good there. Congratulations, Carrie and Matthew. So now we've got a label based on our own image that we dropped in. And again, we avoided the problem of squeezing in the, our couple into uh, making their faces too narrow by trying to cram a rectangle into a square, which is what our software application will do in this current version. So I just wanted to show you really quickly that it's very easy to go ahead and add your own images. And at any time, you can scale these up or down. So if you feel like you want more real estate, go right ahead, scale it up and down. I do want to point out that the rotate feature does not particularly do anything to images. It is designed for, for rotating text and not images. But the resize command is dedicated to working with images, and as far as dropping shadow and these style effects, they are also dedicated to text. We fully intend to add more capabilities for working with images in the next generation of our label design software, but for now, just knowing what your limitations are, you can still do some really creative stuff. Um, you can have some fun, and also remember that you can always step back here and maybe start with a solid color and quickly repeat what I just did. Let's go ahead and uh, let's just push this text up to the top and bottom for now. This is that preset text that was added into the label template. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add this image again of our happy couple. And wait a second while it loads. And remember your load speed may vary depending on whether or not you're using 3G or uh, cable or you're using modem. Depending on your connection, um, sometimes you may have some issues, but I'm just going to go ahead and resize this. That brown may be a little too strong back there. It may match too much some of the hues in their hair and face um, of the different colors. But the nice thing about this is we can step right back in here. We can start over. We can grab something that may offer more contrast. For instance, this red or this eggshell. Um, we can even go to this light gray, which photographers often like to keep grays with their surrounding their artwork or their photographs um, and that is because it allows the natural colors in the photograph to show really nicely and let me show you this again we're just gonna add whoops let's get oh I grabbed the wrong one didn't I well we can quickly throw that away let's grab the right one okay I'm gonna take our happy couple I'm gonna pull back down to about here I'm just gonna left click down on this plus button or you can click repeatedly and I'm going to scale this image right back up. And this image, remember, started out, it was a 1200 pixel image in terms of its overall horizontal width, but the height was under 1200. So that's your barriers. Remember not to get any larger than 1200 on either side. Uh, and as you can see, this gray, really, if I come in and I size down this font, let's go back and say congratulations and down here we'll say uh, Carrie and Matthew that's our happy couple and make this a little bit larger and it's not the font I really wanted to use let's go ahead and try something else uh, it's a little nicer let's go with Coronet I think that'll look really great actually Cornet, yeah, and again, Cornet starts out really small. That's okay. We can easily resize it. So let's just go to about 38 there for the Carrie and Matthew down at the bottom, and for the congratulations, let's step that up to about 30 point, maybe a little bit bigger, 32. There we go. I've got my centering button turned on for the text, but as I mentioned before in the earlier tutorial, you can see that the distance in the bounding box is kind of leading us astray here. I'm just going to turn that off for both the top and bottom text and I'm going to rely on my centering guides. Pull that over just a little bit 
And up at the top, I'm actually really close. We're going to pull that over just a little bit. And let's also drop the shadow. Look at that. Looking pretty good. We've taken our, our image of our happy couple. We've put it onto a label. We've got a background. But we have not destroyed the original aspect ratio of our image by squeezing a rectangle into a square. And uh, again, I wanted to warn you about that, that that can happen. So what you can do, if you have more questions about this and you are concerned about trying to maybe use the most of an image like this and you, you're really not interested in having this kind of uh, background color along with your image, or if you want more help in designing your label, our creative team is always available and ready to assist you with this process. In most cases, uh, we can knock out a couple of drafts for you and have you on your way really quickly with no additional charges. So if you want us to look into helping you lay out your artwork more to your liking, please again rely on the live chat button up here or the phone number. Give us a call. Let us know what kind of image you've got that you're dealing with and maybe tell us what you want to try and we'll get our creative team involved immediately, making sure you get the most rewarding experience possible when customizing your label for your own personal wine.